Hello and welcome to A-Level Biology at Chapel Town Academy. So we do the AQA um, exam board for our A-Level, so if you want any more information about AQA in particular, any more information about the course, uh, please check out the AQA website. So there's two teachers for A-Level Biology, myself and um, Jackie, who's got um, 20 years of experience in teaching A-Level. Um, in terms of the course structure, it's very, very broad. So you cover about a third um, human biology, so the cardiovascular system, the digestive system, kind of body systems, the endocrine system, the nervous system, around a third biochemistry, so looking at the biochemical basis of life, bringing a lot of chemistry in, in terms of the atomic structure of molecules, and then how that structure leads to their function in organisms, and then kind of a third gene technology, um, evolution, ecology, environmental science, biotechnologies. So it's a very, very broad course depending on whether you're, what your interests are. So we've had biologists going kind of biomedical science and biochemistry, students go on to veterinary and medicine, or kind of students going down that ecology, environmental, conservation route as well. So it's a very, very broad course. So the first year we study biological molecules, which is kind of the structure of lipids, the structure of proteins, the structure of carbohydrates, and how that leads to their function in living organisms. The cells, well, the different components of the cells, cell division, mitosis, meiosis, immunity, vaccination, virus structure, bacterial structure, and then exchange the cardiovascular system, the gas exchange system, plant gas exchange, plant transport, so it's kind of plants as well as humans, insects, fish gas exchange, and the digestive system as well. And then kind of looking towards evolution, ecology, the very, very basics of genetics, inheritance, and kind of relationships between living things. Now it gives you very much a foundation, which you then build on in second year. So look at respiration in biochemical detail, what is actually happening in mitochondria for a cell um, to produce ATP, the form of energy that a cell uses. Um, photosynthesis, again looking right down into that structure of the chloroplast. Genetics, so how different diseases can be inherited um, and kind of the mechanisms of inheritance behind it. Ecosystems, animal behaviour, we look at the nervous system and nervous transmission. We look at the endocrine si system the kidney, um, osmoregulation, so the kind of water levels in the body, um, insulin dependence and diabetes, and then biotechnologies, so PCR, cloning, genetic engineering, gene expression. So it's a very, again, it's a very, very broad course and lots and lots of really interesting things to look at. So this is kind of just a lesson sharing DNA modelling from sweets. So lessons tend to be very engaging, tends to be lots of questioning. We want the students to get involved, students to ask questions, to develop your inquiring minds. Um, and also very challenging. It's, it is a difficult subject, it's a big step up from GCSE. That is very, very rewarding because it's very, very interesting, but it does kind of demand a challenge from you. And we want to kind of make you progress. Um, and help you kind of develop a wide range of different skills. So in terms of the exams, there are three exams right at the end of the two years course. The first exam tends to be on a uh, first year content, second exam tends to be on second year content, and the third and final exam is synoptic, bringing information from both years. The synoptic exam has a 25 mark essay at the end, which we spend a lot of time teaching you how to approach that essay and the skills need for successful essay writing. And it's a brilliant chance to showcase your knowledge that you've learned over the two years and makes the difference between those grades. Also, there is 12 required practicals, which form a practical endorsement. And the practical endorsement is pass or fail. But if you want to study a science related degree at university, you would be expected to pass that practical endorsement. And any of the 12 practicals can be accessed in the examination papers. We also have around 20% of maths content on the biology course, which again brings into the examination papers and is also um, brought into the practical skills. But there's a lot of support 
Um, it's not just kind of being thrown in the deep end, off you go with some difficult maths. You kind of get taught it, you've got time to develop those skills and um, build on that GCSE math knowledge in order to kind of bring it up to biological A level. So in terms of entry requirements, we asked for five grade fours at GCSE, the same as all subjects across the academy. But because um, of that maths um, requirement, we are, is a grade five in maths is desirable and a grade five in biology or double science. In terms of the different practicals we do, um, enzyme controlled reactions. So the picture on the right here is milk and we're using the enzyme lipase to hydrolyze and break down the triglycerides in the milk. And we're doing some quantitative analysis of that. Um, microscopy and do stain root squashes. We do microscopy of the gas exchange system, microscopy of muscle, uh, microscopy of onion cells. Dilution series and permeability. So you can see here we've got uh, various dilutions um, of this beta lane, this red pigment in the beetroot, and then we can use quantitative techniques to analyse this. So we use a good piece of equipment called a colorimeter. Um, aseptic techniques. So how can we safely and in a sterile environment plate bacteria, grow bacteria, and have a look at the impact of various substances on microbial growth? So in this particular he picture here, you've got various different antibiotics. You'd aseptically spread the bacteria over this plate, leave it to incubate, then you can have a look at the impact of various antibiotics on the growth of that bacteria. And this picture down here is showing chromatography of leaf pigments. So when we do photosynthesis, we have a look down in that detail of what's happening in the leaf. And you can put a sample of the leaf and then analyze the different pigments that are present within it that allows that leaf to undergo photosynthesis. We do environmental um, experiments, so having a look at an environmental variable on animals, we look at maggots or we look at wood lice, um, as well as kind of doing some ecology. So this here is kind of examples of fish dissections we did with our students last year. This is Jackie, who's the other biology teacher. Heart dissections, so we have a look at the structures of the fish gill, have a look at the structure of the heart, create biological drawings, um, and then relate that structure to function. Field work in the Peak District, so we tend to do some kind of ecology work and look at the distribution of plant species in different um, environmental conditions. So we can see, can we run out in the Peak District? And microscopy, so these students are carrying out microscopy of the trachea and the lung and looking at those structures down that microscope. We do a lot of trips uh, when we're able to. So this was in October 2019 last year and we went on a trip to Chester Zoo and we were looking at um, genetic techniques and kind of gene technologies in able to analyse what different species are present in an area. And be a biologist day, so this was in July 2019 and on a visit to uh, Sheffield University to do some biology and ecological work. So what can you do with biology? So if you study biology at an A-level, one, it's a very good supporting subject. So the skills of biology are transferable to any degree that you might wish to do or various jobs that you might wish to do in the future. So you've got the mathematical skills, the analytical skills, the evaluative skills, the dexterity, the organisation, the methodical approach needed for the practical work. You've got the statistical test. You've got the strong knowledge. It ties into a lot of different areas. And if you're thinking more of a career in biology, we had a lot of students um, go on to do dentistry, go on to do medicine, um, some students going into the health sciences, physiotherapy, midwifery, nursing, mental health nursing, students going on to kind of do marine biology, biopsychology, neuroscience, kind of linking the psychology and the biology together. Some students have gone on to study forensics. Others have kind of started to do very much down the biochemical, biomedical route, so biomedical science, biochemical science, 
molecular cell biology, genetics, microbiology. And we've had other students kind of going to do kind of a zoology route or a conservation and environmental science route. So there's lots and lots of different things that you can do with biology depending on what your particular interest is. We've also had students go on to do apprenticeships um, or HNC like higher degrees in engineering and so on that have been biologists. So like I say, it's a very, very wide range of careers you can do. And at Chapel Town, we are very, very supportive. Um, we have that high ambition, you do regular APs or assessments so we can see where you are and then help you do things to improve, take action to improve. So it's not just like, oh, I've got this wrong. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. But actually, what am I gonna do to continually improve? And our results from the examinations in 2019, we had 71% A star to C's, which was 25% um, nationally for the provision of the subject in the top 25%. And obviously in 2020, it was teacher assessed grades, but they were in line with our previous year's results as well. So our students do get very, very good results, go on to do very, very prestigious degrees at kind of good universities or kind of Oxbridge, dentistry, medicine. And we give you a lot of support as well as kind of a challenging, very, very interesting course. Thank you ever so much for listening to me and hopefully I will see you next year and studying A-level biology. Thank you so much.